Hey YouTube. Hey, this is Mr. Hardcore Mode where nothing's easy. Welcome to another thoughts video on Hi-Fi Rush. Um, Hi-Fi Rush came out of nowhere and surprised a lot of us. And not only was it, you know, uh, by the same people that made Evil Within, uh, but it's also a, um, a really well made polished game. And it's for all ages, and it's absolutely amazing. It is in a in a world where most video games are live services. Hi-Fi Rush comes out of nowhere and slaps you in the ass and says, "Hey, this is a video game. Thirty bucks, please, or for free on Game Pass." And I was just like, "It's like they were like." It's weird for developers to just come up to you and be like, hey, do you like fun? And I'm like, yeah. Do you like video games? Uh, yeah. Well, here's a game. You'll like it. You'll, you'll enjoy it as much as you enjoy Hades. And that's literally what I'm saying here. It is actually a very, very enjoyable game. It is a rhythm game uh, made by the same people that did Evil Within and Evil Within 2. You think that a, a, a developers making a horror game would would make this if you told me that they were gonna make this i would have laughed at you because this game is absolutely amazing it is definitely it's got that sort of cell shaded saturday morning cartoon vibe that you kind of missed as a kid and uh it's it's got that simplistic the story is is well done the characters they're all believable uh, they're funny sometimes. Uh, the combat, the rhythm combat is really well done. You can do so many different things. And even after you beat the game, which by the way is really challenging and really great when you do it on very hard. Even after you beat the game, there's a lot of challenges, modes, costumes, and different like, like sort of stuff that you could do you could even do new game plus and you could even have a higher difficulty than that it really focuses on score multiplayer uh, multiplier and that sort of thing it's it's jam-packed full of a lot of stuff and i'm just surprised i'm actually kind of angry a little bit that a lot of games don't do this where you just not like this like this game but just make a video game hope people enjoy it that's it there's no there's no like oh we're just trying to you know suck up as much money as we can it's like we're 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 gonna bring it out half finished that sort of thing it was done and i had no complaints i had one bug in the game and it was a cat in the game that was floating that's it i mean obviously the the to be honest, the cat floats already, but this time it was a bug and the cat was like floating on top. It, it, it was nothing. It was literally nothing. I'm pretty sure if I turned the game off and turned it back on, the cat would be just fine. That was, that was a small ass bug and I'll probably never see it again. I definitely want to come back to this game later. It is definitely one of my top 10 games of 2023. Even though this is just the 1st of January, it is it is a game that I'm going to remember. That That's it. There's so many AAA games that I would rather forget, but here's like a, I would say, I would say it's sort of a triple A. I'd say it's a double A, uh, a little bit. Um, but, um, it's by developers that really enjoy video games. You could definitely tell it is really enjoyable. I hope you guys give it a try whenever you get a chance. Um, there's going to be probably discounts later on down the road, but it's also free on game pass if you ever got it. But anyway, that's my thoughts. I hope you guys get, uh, give it a go and, uh, yeah, YouTube. I'll see you later. Love you. Bye.